Welcome back. This is still Metro File and Channels Television. Right. Now, the last feature for today will take us all the way to Delta State, where the Managing Director of GPC Energy and Logistics Limited, Chief Elvis Okonji, celebrated and empowered the less privileged in the society. Check it out. Over 150 widows and youths of Ibuza Kingdom in Oshimili North local government area of Delta State were beneficiaries of the financial support from philanthropists and son of the soil, Chief Elvis Okonji, the managing director of GPC Energy and Logistics Limited. <laughs> Chief Elvis Okonji is doing this with the aim of improving the standard of living and making meaningful contributions towards human capital development and the nation at large. Over the years, Chief Okonji has single-handedly done this empowerment program through his Elvis Chukudi Okonji Foundation to support and uplift the downtrodden within the Ezeku quarters of Ibuza. My joy is to ensure that I reduce the touting, the, the drug addicts are doing the community to reduce, to reduce them, ensuring that the youth become somebody they want to become. We are also doing counseling talk with them. By tomorrow, most of them will be in my house. I will talk to them, motivate them, tell them things about life. And I make them understand that nobody advised me in life to get to where I am today. I'm a self-made man from zero to where I am today. And I make them understand that if God can, can help me to get to where I am today, then they can then they just, they just have the same opportunity that I have in life. This year, with the zeal and continued determination for the welfare of all, he has extended the welfare empowerment program of his foundation reaching out to more people. This empowerment also coincides with the yearly occasion of the Umwezugo Day, which is now known as the Anyalobum Day, which commemorates the coming together of descendants of this community at the end of every year to express appreciation to God for life and fruitful years ahead. If, uh, if you take Ibuzo, our town, as a case study, if a man can decide to identify the less privileged, the widows, and people that have learned uh, uh, petty trading, uh, artisan jobs, that have gone through training, and you decide to, to empower them by giving them certain amounts to uplift and for them to start up their business, I think it will go a long way in um, reducing the unemployment status in Nigeria. That is the whole idea. He is not doing this thing because he has political interest. It's a way of giving back to the society. Take the you money. Know, what I'm witnessing here I'm today. not giving you in cash. He started his say, own company and is empowering so many people. All go some go youths that, that left school, money, money graduates money. that have no job, we'll give you he check. empowered them. You go to hire the them, they are working for him. Some are drivers, some are money. in the office, in admin, some are in accounting firm. I know his office in Lagos. This one is not that they told me. I'm just telling you the real thing, facts about him. You know, I thank God for his life and I bless God that as he's touching so many lives, you too will go at his old age, he will get his reward. He's a friend and a brother. Uh, we, we've known each other for over 20 years, and uh, since I've known him, he's an upright man, and uh, he has a lot of integrity, and he's a very hard-working man, and he took a lot 
for him to have built his empire today. And uh, we really appreciate that. And with the foundation that he has been sponsoring for over 10 years now, has grown from strength to strength. And uh, he's been doing very well and uh, sponsoring a lot of students to various universities. I have nothing to say more than uh, the God will give me the word and let him eat what he so. Beneficiaries are happy with a promise to make judicious use of the opportunity. I am very, very happy because uh, since all this why I've been expecting this. I am a graduate, but look at what is happening to me today. I am being empowered to go to the world and do something with my life. I really appreciate this, our brother, Chief Elvis Okonji. I say a very big thank you to him. The event is rounded off with a special thanksgiving at the St. Monica Catholic Church, where family and friends join Chief Okonji in thanksgiving to God for all his achievements. High Chief Elvis Okonji holds a BSc in Banking and Finance from the University of Calabar and an MBA from the University of Uyo in Akwaibom State. He is an astute entrepreneur with working experience in different sectors. He started his 15-year career in a bank, rising to senior management position before leaving to start up GPC Energy and Logistics Limited. He is a traditional title holder, a family man and a philanthropist. Well done to him and to all those we celebrated on the show today. Well, it's at this point we end the show. Thank you so much for watching. For this and many more, please do log on to channelstv.com, follow us on Twitter, and also you can reach us with the number blinking yes, on your you screen. Can. Thank you once again for watching. I'm Ogich Kosin. And I'm Anne Wawado. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll definitely see you again very soon. Bye -bye. Take care.